everyone, it's Melody, and you're probably looking at the title of this video above and thinking, Beta Hoobie Weddy? So, um, thankfully, I'm here to tell you what Beta Thala C Minor is, why I'm doing a video about it, and any other questions you may have. So, to get into the technical terms of it, what beta thalassemia minor is, it is a blood disorder and it's genetically inherit inherited where the carriers make defective hemoglobin and have smaller sized red blood cells and than normal people as well as low red blood cell count, which is anemia. So, now that I've gone through the technical part of it, um, I am doing this video mainly in part because I am the lucky winner of having this blood disorder. So I didn't know it until I was 18 and the way that I found out is I was in the library my senior year of high school and I was doing some research for a paper that I had to do and all of a sudden I started getting dizzy and I started to see white clouds. I mean, no, I wasn't hallucinating. It actually looked like cotton just kind of coming in and taking over and I was freaking out and I was like, all right, I need to sit down. So I pretty much almost whited out completely, not blacked out, whited out. And I actually had to get taken out of the library in a wheelchair and the nurse had to call my parents. My mom came and picked me up and she said, you know, you've been getting dizzy a lot and you're usually weak and all of this other stuff and she's like I think we need to take you to the doctor and get a blood test to see if you may or may not have what I have so yes my mom also has this blood disorder and so I went to the doctor and many tubes of blood later uh, they came to me with the news saying it's positive you have beta thalassemia minor and I was like yay what does that really mean? Um, I only knew kind of what it meant based on the stuff that my mom went through, um, getting dizzy and weak and all this other stuff. So the doctors didn't really have a lot to offer in terms of answers, um, but they did put me on prescribed folic acid and iron pills. And they said I had to take it every day for the rest of my life. And so let's fast forward a little bit, um, probably four years or so, my mom and I decided, you know what, we haven't really been getting a whole lot of answers from our, of our questions from the doctors, let's do some research online. And we looked high and low for hours, and you would think that after all of the hours that we spent searching for this online that we would have found oodles of information. Unfortunately, that was not the case. So we... We were thinking, we were taking these iron pills for, I don't know how, maybe four years now, and her more, and it just, we didn't feel better from taking it, and at some points we actually felt worse after taking them, so we were trying to do research and figure out, okay, why, why do we take this? Why do we need to take this? What is, what is the benefit of it? Because one of the things the doctor said is, um, on top of the anemia and the thalassemia, we were iron deficient. And so my mom and I started to kind of break this apart and think about it and try to just use our brains and not just 100% completely have faith in what the doctor was saying, especially since it didn't seem like he had a lot of answers for anything else on it. So um, after much decision, we were thinking, at one point he's saying that our red blood cells are abnormally small and the other point is saying that we're not, we don't have enough iron in our red blood cells. So putting these two together, we were thinking, well, duh, of course our red blood cells aren't going to have enough iron in each of them because they're smaller, so they carry less iron in them. So we decided by deductive reasoning that we were going to stop taking the iron pills only because we also ran into a little tidbit of information that if you take too much iron, that it will start attacking your organs, especially your liver. I don't know about you, but I kinda like to keep that. 
I kind of think it has a little something to do with living life, not dying, which would be great. So we definitely thought to ourselves, this is not going to happen. Now, on a side note, there are cases where those that do have beta thalassemia minor also on top of that have an iron deficiency. So in those cases, definitely recommend that you address that and talk to your doctor and see how much iron you're actually getting and start taking some. I would recommend um, finding someone who is more knowledgeable in the blood disorder and going online. Thankfully now, many years later, after searching high and low before, there's more information out there. You have to dig a little to find it, but it's out there. And I would be more than happy to help you find that information since I've already done hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of research. Um, but still, doctors seem to not take it seriously and they write it off as hypochondria. And I wanna tell you doctors, we're not imagining our symptoms. There are way too many people who have been diagnosed with beta thalassemia minor that are complaining of the same symptoms. So how can all of us be imagining that? I don't know. But all I know is that we're not. It is not in my head. Um, so let me for a moment share with you what those symptoms are for those who have the blood disorder. So you've got anemia, tiredness, weakness, numbness in the extremities, hair loss, slow thyroid, low immune system, feeling cold all the time, lightheaded feeling, and depression. These are the main symptoms that come along with it. Now, there are also rare cases where you will have an enlargement of the spleen and even premature destruction of red blood cells. Um, as I said, those are rare cases, but it does happen. So those are things to watch out for. Um, I had made a decision in my life, on my own, that I was going to stop allowing this blood disorder to control my life and give me that go-to excuse to not work out or eat healthy or whatnot. Um, I would just have no more of it. No more. I said, self, we are not doing this because you need to enjoy the life that you're living because this is miserable. And coincidentally, um, those that have the blood disorder, I have found that you need to enhance and optimize your health through healthy diet, through supplements, through exercise. And I came across that we have very little of the margin of error that people without the blood disorder have, so we must pay attention to maintaining good health. It's not, it's not a recommendation, it's not just a, you might want to think about it. No, we must because of what we have. So, I want to share with you all very important supplements that all, all, not some, not most, all of people with this blood disorder need to be taking. So, one, B-complex vitamins, so important. These vitamins are needed to build the red blood cells and they help with your energy levels. And who doesn't want more energy? And those of you who know, because you have this blood disorder, you know that energy is something that you wish that you could literally find under your Christmas tree and have it for the rest of your life. Well, it's kind of right there for you. So B-complex vitamins are very important. Folic acid is another thing that is important for all thalassemia carriers, whether it be minor, intermediate, or major. You should take folic acid. Um, magnesium and vitamin D, these are also very important to all thalassemia carriers. Vitamin E, this is a very good antioxidant that helps to protect your red blood cells. Now, protecting your red blood cells is very important considering you have the B-complex vitamins that help build your red blood cells. So after building those red blood cells, you want to maintain those that you just built, protect those. So vitamin E along with those is important. And another thing that you should be taking is wheatgrass. And I know a lot of you are probably sitting there saying, wheatgrass, is that that nasty green stuff that I usually see in shot glasses that you have to hold your nose and down it and drink it so that you don't taste the nastiness of it? Yeah. Unfortunately, that's 
usually what you see and when you take a shot of it, it's probably not the most pleasant. Some people like it, but anyway, very important to take in any of its forms, whether it be an extract, a pill form, or juice form, um, because it can help in raising the fetal hemoglobin levels and also improve your immune system and your overall energy levels. Um, and as those with the, the blood disorder know, and those of you that don't know, I'll share with you that it is a lot easier for us to catch sicknesses, colds, flus, whatever, and when we do catch it, it takes us a longer time to get rid of it, to shake it out of our system, because our immune systems are lower, they're weaker than the average Joe. Um, so all of these vi uh, supplements that I was telling you about are very important to make sure you take. And also again, if you do have iron deficiency, you should be taking a little bit extra iron, um, but not if you aren't iron deficient on top of your anemia. But I know a lot of people don't do this because it's so expensive. You can spend upwards of 200 or more dollars just to get all of these supplements so you can take them every month. And it's just, you know, bottle after bottle. You have a medicine cabinet full of supplements that you just need to take. So I want to share with you something that has helped me incredibly that has all of these ingredients in it already. On top of the healthy diet that you're going to get all those nutrients and foods as well, but um, I have something that they call the healthiest meal of the day. It is very delicious. It comes in two flavors, chocolate and green berry, and I actually have a bag here to show you. It is called Shakeology, so it's probably backwards, but this is the bag. It's a three pound bag, or this one actually is a little bit just a little bit less than three bags with the chocolate is three pounds um, and I get it shipped to me every month and I take it for breakfast and it's so quick and easy it has all of those nutrients plus more it's not just those there's so many more uh, supplements and nutrients that are in there from across the world and honestly I have found that it is cheaper to get this into my house every month than to go to the nutrition or the vitamin shop and get four or five even sometimes six different bottles of pills that I need to take. And honestly, I don't know about you, but there's just something about just putting a bunch of pills in my mouth and downing a glass of water just to get them down. I, it's not my favorite part, especially some of the pills are like horse pills. Um, so this has definitely helped and it's made it more delicious. And yes, you will be saying, wow, I never knew wheatgrass could take so taste so delicious. And honestly, it, it's in there. And um, it's just been one of the best decisions that I've ever made. I feel more energy. I don't have the dizziness that I used to experience. I, I don't feel weak at all. Um, I haven't really gotten sick. There have been a couple times where I felt like I was going to get sick, but I didn't, which is awesome. Um, so I highly recommend it to anybody who has a blood disorder because it's going to help you. Um, even to those that don't have a blood disorder, you'll get your servings of vegetables and fruits in here and especially if you hate vegetables this is an awesome way to go um so if you're interested in finding about how you can order your bags of Shakeology just let me know I'll have a link posted at the bottom of this video in the info section of um how you can contact me and get to that um so best decision I ever made. Chocolate's my favorite flavor and I'm a chocolate person and it tames my sweet tooth so I'm not raiding the cabinets for chocolate, which I don't really store anyway. Um, so I have no regrets whatsoever on taking this.